Hello to all. Today we will be discussing some very important questions which are based on the circulatory system. And generally some questions are asked on this topic. Alright. So the very first question is that the cells forming, the first question is cell forming the wall of blood capillaries are called. You know very well out of the three types of the blood vessels that is the arteries, veins and the capillaries. So capillaries are the thinnest blood vessels alright. So the cells forming the wall of the blood capillaries are called cells forming the wall of the blood capillaries are called as auxentic cells, endothelium cells, parietal cells and hemocytes. Now you can exclude these two options A and C because we know very well that the auxentic cells and the parietal cells are actually found in the stomach and they are associated uh, with the digestive system. Alright. So now the options are two endothelium cells and the hemocytes. So remember the cells forming the wall of the blood capillaries and always remember in the wall what are found endothelium cells are found. So the cells forming the wall of the blood capillaries are called as the endothelium cells. So the question number one is having the answer B. Now question number two papillary muscles are found in now first of all you must know that where are papillary muscles found if you have studied the structure of the heart minutely then you can see that the papillary muscles are associated with the wall of the ventricles papillary muscles are associated with the wall of the ventricles of the heart all right so the question is papillary muscles are found in hemocyl of cockroach no hemocyl is the cavity of the cockroach all right and the papillary muscles are not associated with the uh, hemocyl they are associated with the ventricle of the heart remember this thing they are associated with the ventricle of the heart now see here auricles of the heart no ventricles of the heart and arm so here is the option c is correct that papillary muscles are associated with the ventricles of the heart say for if this is the heart say for if this is the heart all right and if these are the ventricles if these are the ventricles then papillary muscles are associated with here papillary muscles are associated with the wall of ventricles wall of ventricles is it clear so the question number two is having the answer c now question number three cordy tendini are found in cordy tendini are found in first of all you must know that what are cordy tendini now as you know very well that in between the in between the right auricle and right ventricle there is a wall present here and this wall is called as tricuspid wall TV means tricuspid wall and in between the left auricle and left ventricle there is a wall present and this is called as beta this is called as bicuspid wall bicuspid wall are you getting now what happens that cordy tendini cordy tendini are the strengths are the strengths whose one end is attached to the papillary muscles and the another end is attached to the tricuspid valve or the bicuspid valve are you getting again i am repeating that cordy tendini are found between the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve and the papillary muscles of the ventricles all right so they are called as cordy tendini now look here cordy tendini are found in ventricles of brain ventricles of heart auricles of heart and it is a connection between bones so always remember i am repeating again cordy tendini are found in the ventricles and the one end of the cordy tendini is attached to the papillary muscles of the ventricles while the another end is attached to the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve so definitely the answer must be 
B. Corditendini are found in the ventricles of the heart. Ventricles of the heart. So question number 3 is having the answer B. Clear? Now, question number 4. Which of these has a closed circulatory system? Which of these has a closed circulatory system? See here, cockroach. Now, cockroach belongs to the phylum Arthropoda. And we know very well that arthropods have a arthropods have an open circulatory system. Now mollusca, mollusca is another phylum, and we know very well that in mollusca also there is open circulatory system found. Scorpion, scorpion, scorpion belongs to the phylum arthropoda, and again in phylum arthropoda, what will be there? There will be open circulatory system. All right. So what I want to say here that in cockroach, mollusca and scorpion in cockroach, mollusca and scorpion all have the open circulatory system while the fish if you have studied about the fish or the species then they have a closed circulatory system so question number fourth is having the answer fish that is the option is B are you getting now coming to the next one an artery can be distinguished from a vein in having Whenever we talk in class, we differentiate between the arteries and the veins. All right, what is the difference between arteries and the vein? An artery can be distinguished from a vein in having thicker wall, lesser lumen, no walls, all of the above. Remember this thing that arteries are having narrow lumen. Remember, arteries are having narrow lumen. Lesser lumen means narrow lumen, and we know very well when the when the cavity or the lumen is narrow or less then we must know this thing that less the volume less the volume more the pressure so definitely the pressure will be more in the arteries if arteries are having lesser lumen then there will be more pressure and if there will be more pressure then they must be having the thicker walls otherwise they will rupture and if the blood is flowing with a high pressure if the blood is flowing with high pressure then there is no need of the valves there is no need of the valves so I can say that an artery can be distinguished in uh, from the vein in having thicker wall lesser lumen and no valves so yes all the characters given here are applicable on the artery so the question number five must be having the answer and that is all of the above means uh, thicker wall, less lumen and no wall. So question number 5 is having the answer D. Now question number 6. The pulmonary aorta arises from. You know what is pulmonary aorta? Pulmonary aorta, don't be confused. Pulmonary aorta means pulmonary artery. We are talking about the pulmonary artery. And always remember that pulmonary artery arises from. Pulmonary artery arises from the right ventricle. Pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood or the impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for the purpose of purification. For the purpose of purification. So, pulmonary aorta arises from left ventricle. No, from the left ventricle aorta arises, systemic aorta arises, right ventricle, left auricle or right auricle. So, of course, the pulmonary aorta arises from a right ventricle. The pulmonary aorta arises from right ventricle. It carries the impure blood to the lungs for the purpose of purification. Is it clear? So question number 6 is having the answer B. Now coming to the question number 7. One of the following nerves inhibit the rate of heartbeat. Means uh, different nerves are given to us. First one is vagus nerve. Second one is sympathetic nerve, third one is oculomotor nerve and none of the above. Now what is the question? One of the following nerves inhibit the rate of heartbeat. Means out of the following nerve, which nerve inhibit the rate of heartbeat? So always remember that the rate of the heartbeat is inhibited by a nerve and that nerve is called as the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve inhibits the rate of the heartbeat vagus nerve inhibits the rate of the heartbeat if the vagus nerve is bringing the signals to the SA node of the heart then definitely the heartbeat will decrease so or I can say heartbeat will inhibit 
So Vegas nerve is the answer. Question number seven is having the answer A. Are you getting? Question number eight. Impulse of heartbeat originates from impulse of our uh, impulse of heartbeat originates from SA node, AV node. SA node you know na sino auricular node. AV node means auricular ventricular node. AV node vagus nerve or cardiac nerve. What is the question? Impulse of heartbeat originate from. You know very well that uh, a mass of nodal tissue is found in the right, uh, that is the auricle, auricle, and that is called as the SA node, sino auricular node. Sino auricular node uh, actually originates the impulse of the heartbeat, right? The human heart is myogenic, and it beats just because of the muscles. So SA node is a nodal tissue. So uh, the impulse of the heartbeat always originates from the SA node, sino auricular node, which is located in the right auricle, which is located in the right auricle. So question number eight must be having the answer A. Question number eight must be having the answer A. Now question number nine, very important question. This question was asked in the NEET exam during jointed diastole. We know very well that during joint diastole, all the four chambers of the heart are in relaxed state. So students will always opt C option. In the C option, what it is given, all the four chambers of the heart are in relaxed state. Yes, all the four chambers of the heart are in relaxed state during the joint diastole. Means during the joint relaxation, all the four chambers of the heart are in relaxed state. But the answer must be all of the above. C, why? In A option, what is given? Tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open. Tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open. Of course, during the joint diastole, the blood is flowing. The blood is flowing from the auricle to the ventricle, and definitely the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves are open. Tricuspid and the bicuspid valves are open. Semilunar valves are closed. Yes, because during this act, during the joint diastole, the blood is not moving in the respective aortas. All right, pulmonary aorta and chaotic systemic aorta. So, semilunar valves are closed. Yes. Tricuspid and bicuspid valves are open. Yes. And all the four chambers of the heart are in relaxed state. Yes. Question number nine and the, the D option, all of the above. So, you don't have to commit mistake that you opt this C. All of the A, B, and C, all the options are correct. All right. So, the answer must be D. So, question number nine is having the answer. D. Are you getting? So all these are very very important questions. So you must do these questions and not only uh, uh, you have to do the questions on the circulatory system. I have uploaded a lot of questions on major topics of the biology. So you can just go through them because the upcoming NEET exam is very much near and according to my experience uh, with uh, uh, along with the theory, you must also focus on various type of the questions. If you'll be doing the varied type of the questions, then we'll be building up a sort of a confidence. So to give an extra edge to you people, I'm actually preparing these MCQs on the circulatory system. So please uh, go through these questions. All right. So thank you for watching me. We'll be coming soon with some new videos. Thank you. Thank you.